All right, so some of you have wanted to see the uh, jackal field and everything like uh, that, and uh, see what we're doing with it before you come to Operation Jackal. Well, right now we're just in the you know, property's front yard and everything like that, but the, H uh, the green team HQ from last game is going to be replaced with a actual building. We got all the wood for it right here. We plan on doing the same with the tan HQ, but um, we don't have enough wood that might not be done to uh, spring. Um, we're expanding on the cat camping area. We've cut down several trees over there. So, we'll have more room to camp. Parking's going to be about the same. Now I'm just going to walk through the actual field itself and get some video to bunkers. Also, just as building supplies over here, we have um, two dock pieces that... Uh, we had six of them, but we used four of them to build uh, bunkers on the field last Operation Jackal. So... I'm probably going to use these somewhere. Maybe sheeting a uh, command post that doesn't have any um, like real protection underneath it. So, anyways, these are current courtesy of my good friend Dustin Cobb. So, yeah, as with most of the uh, stuff on the field. All right, now we're in the field itself. There, you can hear a chainsaw in the background cutting down one of the trees for um, expanding the camping area. As you can see, it's pretty wooded so but it's still open enough for people who play like an assault type of style of play to still play and it's a sniper's paradise because you do get those areas where there, there's large open areas and then you have like just a lot of trees and a lot of cover to hide behind so over there we got it's a little bunker for a command post we made um, all the rest of are actually more like professionally made, they're like, we got like two story bunkers that are hunting blinds for uh, command, po uh, command posts, like the top of them is like the, uh, like a sniper's outpost, the bottom of them, they got sheet metal on them. Now we're at uh, one of the bunkers, again this is like the most uh, like redneck made one, just made out of wood and brush and shit. Um, Actually, last Operation Jackal, one of the squads did build on this a little bit and made like a little uh, pillbox type thing right here. Inside the bunker, you see that we got, um, you know, the command uh, uh, post capture thing. Um, we got lights that are actually falling apart that we need to replace, which will be replaced before the next game, but we got one that's still intact over there. Um, that basically light up the base for, uh, for the night and make it uh, visible so you know so people have an idea where they're going when they're going to capture these command posts so uh, this is probably like actually the most roomy command post we have like the ones on the you know just the sheet metal covering the hunting blinds they don't really have much room I mean, you can stick a lot of people in uh, them but you could probably stick the most people in this so now this is one of the more open areas I was talking about it. It was still wooded, but you uh, can go for maybe like, you can pull off like 100, 150 foot shots in this little area right here. So, uh, we, and there's several clearings throughout the property where you can get shots even uh, longer. Uh, as you go in, it's pretty, oh shit, I got fuzzy for a second, but um, as you go into the woods, it's pretty much the same around 90% of the property as it is right uh, here wooded but open so it leaves a lot of room for maneuvering and uh, firing and all that good shit now this is one of the little clearings right here that I was talking about um last game this actually wound up being a major choke point in the uh, game since this is a little cross section where all the trails and the property run through and uh, the command Man post up there, you can't really see it too good, so I'll move over here. But whoever controlled that command post right there normally wound up controlling the entire game, so that's probably going to be a, most, a really important command post. It's the only hunting blind that doesn't have um, it doesn't have sheet metal on the bottom of them. It's because it sits so low to the ground, you can't really put sheet metal on it. So. Right here we got the little uh, sand bag, uh, bag bunker that we're starting to build. There's, we're looking at building like one or two more of these, but I don't know if we're going to have enough sandbags for them. 
I just placed it there since there was no cover heading towards that uh, command post. That way people uh, who are attacking it or people who are defending it can place people there and kind of set up flanking maneuvers and uh, stuff like that. Alright, so this is where the TAN HQ was, but as of right now we are currently considering putting the uh, TAN HQ somewhere else. Um, if we do put it up here, as you can see, there's not much uh, we can really do do for building a building back here so that's why we're considering putting it somewhere else um, if anything this area might be made a uh, new like capture point a new command post after operation jackal 2 um, what I'm thinking is um, since it sits on a hill I got a bunch of fake graves made up and I'm going to make uh, this a command post called cemetery ridge now now that I think about it, from what I said earlier, I said there was only like one command post that we had made out of uh, well, just fallen trees. There's actually two. Yeah. As I remember as I was walking over there, there is one over, over there, roughly. So, that was uh, nearest to the Tan HQ, but well, I kind of overlooked the ridge. But headed from here to that uh, command post, that's roughly in the middle of the... Uh, field over there that kind of, that overlooks that clearing so we had a command post that overlooked the ridge that uh, that way uh, uh, saved a green team captured that command post and was going to attack the tan HQ they had they still had like a good defensive option so and like or if the green team captured the tan HQ or if the green team captured the uh, command post in the middle tan still had a uh, place to uh, a rally and attack and force to take it back. So we try. So we when we built this field, we tried to keep each side as even as possible when it come came to defensive and offensive options. Now this is one of the command posts. This is one that's or one of the ones that has uh, sheet metal on the bottom, so you can have uh, people down here defending it. Then you have a little sniper outpost up top. Got your uh, capture flags right here. Uh, blue and red so yeah um, got those little light things uh, make this illuminated during the night so people can find our way here um, uh, this was another one of those areas areas where I was talking about where it's not too wooded but and it's fairly open so there's a lot of room to maneuver so say if this outpost was uh, getting attacked from behind you do have a lot of fairly big trees that you could put like five or six people behind uh, like or like or just five or six people in this area just like one person behind a tree and you can have them uh, laying down covering fire on this command post and moving up on it to capture it so now this is one of the areas where the uh, woods gets pretty thick so if you're like a patrol going down this trail, you know, it's not very good. You can get ambushed on both sides from people either in there a little bit or in here a little bit. So definitely not a uh, good spot to be maneuvering. But this trail leads straight from uh, Green HQ to that command post that was all the way back in the eye. So. It is a vital part of the gameplay, and it is very hard for one team to control it. Now we're he heading up to the uh, Green HQ, and what's going to be torn down and be re rebuilt. Um, we have little uh, bunkers and pillboxes that lead up to it. None of these are actually command posts, they're just uh, um, places to uh, dig in and defend the, uh, this area. So. All right, now this is the green command post. It's in the process of uh, being torn down. Most of you that were here for Jackal 1 remember that there was a uh, gray tarp right there. So right now we only have the blue tarp here. We got, um, still got a little hunting blind here. But we have our capture flag. We're gonna have to move uh, the capture flag because we're not going to uh, be using the hunting blind. We have a fairly open area right here, so we're probably going just to remove that little bunker that people made last game. Then we're going to um, build right here, maybe a little bit farther back, where you know, just wherever's open enough. So, 
All right, this is the final command post. So, again, sheet metal on the bo bottom, covered up with some uh, wood to give it a little bit of camouf uh, camouflage. Um, sniper outpost up there. A ladder going into the um, sniper tower and your capture flags, which for some reason this one's covered up by a log. I'll actually go inside one of these uh, sniper towers. Minus the chairs and stools, it pretty much looks the same. And each of them, floors covered with fucking BBs. Um, no, just sniper tower made out of OSB. Hmm, bullet casing, not sure why that's in there. So, yeah. Um, I think this is the only one that actually has camouflage wrapped on the uh, on these things right here. Well, from here you can get a good line of sight of whatever's coming at you from almost any direction. Uh, this is probably like the greatest line. Of, this window right here is probably the greatest line of sight that you're gonna have. Then you got uh, this window right here overlooking the trail that goes from this command post to the command post that's in the middle of the map that's um, guarding, uh, clearing. That's winds up being the choke point of this entire thing. So normally a front line establishes itself between this command post and that command post. So, all right. So I just went over the entire field, and hopefully you guys uh, like it. We are in the middle of doing improvements to the uh, field. You know, uh, we do have some variation in terrain. Nothing major like a river or uh, steep hills running through it, but it's enough to keep things uh, interesting. Uh, saying it's uh, open enough for people to maneuver and it's wooded enough to uh, make it possible for people to be stealthy if they choose. So, Last Operation Jackal was a pretty big success. We had 51 players out here. Uh, it seemed like most of the people that came out enjoyed it. There's a few that you know, didn't, but um, well, most of the people that came out last time want to come out again and play. So That's why we're hosting Operation Jackal 2 September 15th. Be there.